participants from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And I'm here today chatting with Dr. Sean Walker about her upcoming presentation titled An Algorithm for Physiological Breach Birth. Welcome, Dr. Walker. Very happy to be here. Thank you so much for coming here and chatting with us today. I am so excited to have you here. Um, I know you have an extensive background as a care provider and everything related to the field of birth. But not only that, you are an expert in breach birth. So, so tell us a little bit about it, how you got where you are today and how you became that expert. And just give us a little background. Sure. Okay. Um... It, my interest has been throughout my career, but I particularly became involved with women who wanted to have a vaginal breech birth when I was working as an independent midwife here in the UK. Um, here in the UK, we have a national health service. So people generally only look outside of that health service when they need something that the service is not currently providing. And I was really surprised to have a number of my very early clients requesting help with a vaginal breech birth. Um, I didn't feel for me at that point in my career that it was something that I should be doing in home births and certainly not on my own. Um, so that's when I started to advocate for a proper care pathway for women using the National Health Service to have access to care for a breech birth and the type of breech birth that women tended to want, which was one that remained um, as active as possible. Um, for as long as they wanted it to be that way. Um, yeah, so that's what happened and that was beginning back in 2010. Um, I set up a care pathway in an NHS hospital and then realized that the problem was bigger than I could um, address working on my own in a small hospital. So I began to work on my PhD and since then I've been studying in a systematic manner what it means to be experienced in breech birth and what it means to be safe in a breech birth and um, here we are now. Thank you so much for sharing that with me today. It's always so wonderful to meet somebody who is an expert in the field and out there teaching um, how to facilitate safe breech birth. Uh, I'm a midwife here in Florida as a home birth midwife. I'm not allowed to have, uh, you know, facilitate breech birth at home, uh, but I do need to be trained and my colleagues here in Florida, uh, you know, everywhere need to be trained to be able to um, facilitate it in case there is a surprise breach and um, birth is imminent. So um, when I think about the topic, I get very excited. I feel like I, there's two feelings I have. I, I want to learn as much as possible. I want to be like a sponge and, and learn from experts like you. And, and I'm really excited and, uh, about it. And then my other feeling is, ooh, breach. Hmm, I'm a little worried. I'm a little scared. Will I be able to have all the information I need? Will I be able to, you know, um, do this? So, so do you get that often when you uh, teach care providers like myself? Oh, absolutely. Um, and that is the reason behind the creation of the algorithm, which we're about to discuss, um, because if you can put something into a more systematic form, it's easier for people to remember. And um, it's very difficult to understand what are the safe parameters when um, everyone, um, virtually everyone, is in the same position as you are, that you will see a few number of breach births in your career um, and you will still be required to keep them safe. So you don't have the same type of gut instincts which result from attending hundreds of headfirst babies the way that you have done. Um, and so the purpose of the training programs that I deliver is to use um, systematically gathered and synthesized information from my research um, to create ways for people to develop those um, instinctual safety parameters in a kind of fast track method rather than needing to attend 50 breach births. So we do Absolutely. that through a 
yeah. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Sorry, I didn't need to interrupt. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we do that through a combination of uh, kind of rules and guideline parameters, um, and also the watching of videos, which help people to recognise what is normal, even though they may not have ever seen a breech birth. And I found that extremely helpful when I looked through your slides and I got a little sneak peek to our listeners here um, about this presentation. I love what you did here, putting it into an algorithm, because that, as you mentioned, you know, in your answer previously, that takes out the guesswork and it takes out also the emotions of the, you know, the confusion that can occur. But if you can break it down into a kind of a formula as you're doing it here, it becomes so much more manageable and so much and takes also the fear factor out like okay I feel like even if I don't get to see 50 or 100 breach birth but at least I have this algorithm I can follow it and as long as I follow it and, and try I'm doing a good job I will be able hopefully to facilitate a safe birth and and that gives me as well confidence that I can do it and and so will other care providers of course and Another wonderful thing you mentioned there is the videos. I'm very, very excited about the videos. You have some fantastic videos in there and such great learning tools. It's, um, you know, nothing shows it as much as you can talk, um, you know, uh, but, but the pictures, the images that you're providing in your presentation are really, um, you know, they're, they're, they're fantastic, fantastic learning tools. So thank you for well, that. For that, I owe um, thanks to um, the many women and care providers who have shared their videos with me. Um, it's obviously a very vulnerable time, not only for the women, but also for the care providers, some of whom share videos um, where that don't paint them in the best light because they're trying to do something for the first time. But it helps people understand um, what some of the mistakes can be and so they're so valuable and I think women who have had to uh, kind of really work hard to get support for a breech birth they understand how important it is that their care providers and the, the care providers for the women of the future be able to access learning um, so that they can keep breech birth safe and available. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, before I let you go, and before, without giving too much away about your presentation, we want our listeners to attend it. It's a fantastic presentation. A quick nugget, what would you like our delegates to take away from this presentation? Uh, what is one of the main, main objectives for you here? Okay, so a safe physiological breech birth is one in which there is no intervention as long as everything proceeds normally but also assertive intervention when it doesn't so we say respect the mechanism if it's unfolding normally and within an appropriate time scale and you know that the baby is doing well or restore the mechanism which means bring it back to what it's supposed to be if the process isn't going well and hopefully by the end of the presentation you'll know what isn't going well looks like. Well, thank you for that. And one last question for you. I'm so excited to have you here, so I can't help myself. To anybody walking into a midwife, care provider, anybody walking into a situation where you have a surprise breach, any quick uh, things, uh, uh, words of wisdom you can share with us? What, what do you think in that moment is, is important? Take a deep breath. And if you can see part of the baby emerging, your priority isn't a vaginal examination. Your priority is setting up for resuscitation and engaging back up. And by the time you've done that, if the baby has descended so that you can see a lot more of the baby, then you will know that she is fully dilated and you should just wait and help as required. Thank you so much, Dr. Sean Walker, for sitting down with me here and chatting about the upcoming presentation and algorithm for physiological breach birth. Thank you for your time, Dr. Walker. The presentation and algorithm for physiological breach birth is a part of the package. Um, that we have available at Gold Learning, and the package is called Managing Complications During Birth Lecture Pack. You can find it at 
www.goldlearning.com. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Bye-bye for now.